है गाइस सलमान साफी इज वेलकमिंग यू टू साफी मैक्सड एंड दिस वीडियो आई वुड टॉक अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कम्यूटेटर कम्यूटेटर इज अ फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स व्हिच टेस्ट द नेचर ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स एंड इज द ओरिजिन ऑफ हाइजिमबर्ग अनसर्टेनिटी प्रिंसिपल it provides the information that keeping the order of applying multiple operators to a wave function is of immense importance to visualize this behavior of quantum mechanical operators i would like to begin this lecture from a particular example the commutator of position and momentum operators of a quantum mechanical particle to this end let us consider an arbitrary wave function psi as a function of x and apply to it first the position operator along x axis and then the x component of momentum operator i can proceed in the following way x operator applied to the wave function psi x obviously work as a multiplicative factor and therefore i can rewrite it as x operator psi of x now if i apply the p operators that is p operator x on x operator applied to psi of x equals minus iota h bar partial over partial x applied to x operator applied to psi x and if i use the product rules of differentiation i can rewrite the right side as minus iota h bar multiplied with x times partial psi over partial x plus psi of x and removing the brackets i can rewrite this into this last form now let us reverse the order of the operator that is let us first apply the momentum operator to the wave function then i can write the momentum operator p sub x applied to the wave function equals minus iota h bar partial over partial x acting on psi of x and if i apply the moment and if now i apply the position operator it obviously again acts as a multiplicative factor therefore i can write x operators acting on p operators acting on wave function equals minus iota h bar x partial over partial x psi x where i have changed the position of minus iota h bar with respect to the operator x because that is a number and we can change the position of numbers with respect to operators as well as wave functions so one can see from equation 1 and equation 2 that the order of operator acting on a wave function matters that is changing the order changes the final result if i subtract equation 1 from equation 2 i can write x p sub x psi x minus p sub x times x psi of x equals minus iota h bar x partial psi over partial x plus iota h bar x partial psi over partial x plus iota h bar psi of x the first two terms on the right side of this equation cancel out and the equation can be rewritten into this one for and if i divide both side of this equation on iota h bar i can put the equation into this one form since on the left the quantity inside the bracket represent an operator and in order to make this equation mathematically correct there must be an operator on the right side and that operator i write in the form of an identity i so i in fact represent an operator that works as a multiplicative identity 1 so this final form of the equation dictates that the quantity inside the bracket on the left in fact corresponds to the identity operator i and therefore can be written as the product of x sub x p sub x minus 
p sub x times x divided by iota h bar equals i. Now rearranging this equation we can write x times p sub x minus p sub x times x equals iota h bar. Traditionally the left side of this equation is written as x p sub x minus p sub x times x equals square bracket x comma p sub x again square bracket. Substituting this form equation 3 can be rewritten in the form of x comma p x enclosed inside the square brackets equal iota h bar. Equation 4 is called the commutator of the position operator x and the component of momentum along x axis. And when the commutator of two operator is not equal to zero, we say they don't commute. From physics point of view, two non-commuting operators do not share common eigenfunction. In other words, the information of such operator are encoded into two different sets of eigenfunction in the Hilbert space of the same quantum mechanical particle.